Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Kalyani's Maths Academy where we are preparing you today for tomorrow's competition. What is the competition? Yes, we have just left with the three months for your CBSC board examination, right? Today is the 1st November and we have left with the 90 days. We have already made a strategy video for the next three months what we have to do and what not to do. If you have not watched that video, go and watch that video first and then come back. All right. So as I said, we have left with the three months. In last five to six months, you have done preparation extremely tremendously. You have prepared very well, half yearly bhi ho gaya hai, and now prepare for the CBSC board examination segment wise. Right? Why I am saying this? Because <clears throat> see, we have left with three months. So Apka pura December month, it will be like you will be writing board or pre-board examination and assignments and everything, right? Right, okay. So, uh, what we have to do? We have to prepare now segment words. What does it mean? We have to write the question paper for the 80 marks, right? Our target is this mark, these marks, 80 marks. And out of these 80 marks, if you are seeing 20 marks are for the MCQs and remaining 60 marks are subjective questions. Yape, we will be writing case studies and 2 marks question, 3 marks question. But now what we are going to do? We are going to focus on these 20 marks. <clears throat> I have seen so many uh, students, they are coming with a half yearly marks examination. They are losing 2 to 3 marks, 4 marks. And where they are losing the marks? In MCQs. They are losing these marks in MCQs, multiple choice question. Can you believe? Yes, ho jata hai. Ho jata hai. Correct? So what we are going to do in this series, we are going to focus on these MCQs, multiple choice questions. Jo chapter wise hum log ye series karenge, we have 14 chapters. So segment wise kya hai MCQs hai? Chapter wise, all 14 chapters we will be covering in this series. Alright, so what is our target? To get 20 out of 20 marks in MCQs, jo hume bilkul bhi, we are not going to lose this. Okay, these are our marks and we are not going to lose this. Okay, so what is the pattern of this series so first ek ye, this is going to be a chapter wise chapter wise hum log sare mcqs yahan pe cover kar lenge now aapko screen pe 15 seconds ke liye 30 seconds ke liye ek question milega you have to answer that uh, for that for that question in the comment section and you have to check whether you are getting correct answer or not trust me if you are sitting for 5 to 10 minutes on daily basis well, while doing this quiz Trust me, you are not going to lose single mark in MCQ. Okay, we are going to practice almost 150 to 200 question in this series. And this is a very series, like 5 to 10 minutes ke ye videos hone wale hai, to zyada time bhi nahi lagega. Alright, okay. So let's get started. We are starting with our first chapter, real number. Okay, so first question on your screen. Which of the following is an irrational number? Which of the following is an irrational number? Option A, root 9. Option B, 22 by 7. Option C, 3.141509. Option D, root 5. So, answer in the comment section. What is your answer? Alright. So, let's see. What is the answer here? Answer is root 5. Why? Because the first option. What is your first option? Your first option is a root 9. Root 9 means what? It is a 3. 3 is what? It is a rational number. So your option A ruled out. Option B 22 by 7. What is it? This is the value of pi. Correct. Option C 3.141509. So option B for option B what is it? It is a 22 by 7. So already it is a rational number. Then C 3.141509. So this is a terminating decimal number. Here it terminate. Ho gaya. Okay. So this can't be your irrational number. And option D root 5. So this root 5 we cannot express in the sim as a simple fraction. Also, it is a non-terminating and non-repeating. So, that is the definition for the irrational number. Irrational number kya hota hai? They are non-repeating. Also, they are non-terminating. So, that is why your answer is here, option D. So, this is a, basically we are going to revise these concepts. Next question. The product of non-zero rational number and irrational number is option A always rational, option B always irrational, option C rational or irrational and option D always an integer. Come on, quickly answer in the comment section. What is option here? A, B, C, D. 
product of non zero rational number and irrational number try this question try this question all that so what is the question product of non zero rational and irrational number non zero rational number right so take any non zero rational number i am taking this as a 4 and any irrational number that is a root 5 if i am multiplying it what is it 4 root 5 which number is this it is again irrational number so this product is always irrational this product is always irrational because it is a non zero number if they have not mentioned that it it is not a non zero agar ye zero hota to answer would be zero and zero aapka kya ho jata rational number just because they are saying non zero rational number and irrational number so your answer is always irrational next this is interesting question if p and q are two positive integers such as that p is equal to a cube b square and q is equal to a square b cube where a and b prime numbers this is very important they have mentioned that a and b they are prime numbers then hcf of p and q come on quickly answer in the chat box option a a cube b cube option b a square b square option c a b option b a to the power 5 and b to the power 5 come on quickly bahut easy question hai interesting question hai ye to all right so how to do this first of all see what are these numbers p is equal to a cube b square okay and q is equal to a square b cube they have already mentioned that a and b they are prime numbers matlab ye pehle hi prime factorization inhone kiya hai when you have to find the hcf of any two number if i want to find the hcf of 22 and 16 what i will be doing i will be finding the prime factors of 22 that is 2 into 11 and for the 16 it is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 right okay then what i will be doing i will be just finding the common factors that is a 2 so yahan pe aapka hcf of 22 and 16 is a 2 likewise a p and q ke prime factors kya hai a cube and b square yahan pe diya hai now find the common factors for hcf find the common factors so in a cube and a square what is common it is a a square and b square and b cube what is common it is a b square so yahan pe aapka hcf will be a square b square let's see yes option b that is a a square and b square this is how you will be solving the questions all right okay i hope you all are getting the correct answers okay next question question number 4 what is the smallest prime number ye to easily aana chahiye option a 0 option b 1 option c 2 and option d 3 yes your answer is c that is a 2 why because zero is not a prime number because it is not a natural number then one one is neither prime number nor composite number then two and three two is a prime number two is not a composite though it is a even number it is a prime number and it is the only prime number which is even number it is the only prime number which is even number all other prime numbers they are odd numbers all right next question the decimal expansion of the rational number 1 4 5 8 7 1 2 5 will terminate after how many decimal places bahut interesting question hai option a one decimal place option b two decimal places option c three decimal places and option d four decimal places what is your answer option a b c d answer in the comment all right so what you have to do we have to first find the prime factors of these numbers and how to do that can you find the prime factors instead of numerator just find the prime factors of 1 2 5 0 1 2 5 0 start with the 2 2 6 12 2 2 4 1 1 2 5 10 next one can we divide 6 to 5 with a 3 ah uh, let's check no let's divide with a 5 5 1 5 then 1 to 5 then divide again with a 5 25 5 5 and 1 all right so 1 to 5 0 you can write it as a 2 into 5 to the power now check with the what is the highest power in the denominator 
what is the highest power it is a 4 it is the 4 so up to 4 decimal point after 4 decimal places it will terminate that should be your answer yes so your answer should be 4 decimal places so what we have to do we have to find the factors of 1 2 5 0 okay and we have to find the highest power all right next if hcf of 26 and 91 is equal to 13 then lcm of 26 and 91 एक बहुत ही फेमस फॉर्मूला है जो यहां पे हमें अप्लाई करना है ऑप्शन ए 182 ऑप्शन बी 12366 ऑप्शन सी 91 ऑप्शन डी 26 ट्राई टू डू दिस क्वेश्चन ऑल राइट सो एचसीएफ फॉर व्हाट आर दीस टू नंबर्स ए इज इक्वल टू 26 एंड बी इज इक्वल टू 91 एंड एचसीएफ यहां पे है व्हाट इज एचसीएफ यू 13 and they have asked us to find the LCM. What is the formula? We know that HCM into LCM is equal to product of these two numbers. Product of these two numbers. So put the values here. 13 into LCM is equal to 26 into 91. So I am just taking 13 on this side. Divided by 13. 13 ones are 13. 13 twos are 26. So 2 into 91. 182. This is your LCM option A. Alright. So this is how you will be doing this question. So just remember this formula. HCF into LCM is equal to A into B. Alright. Next question. Which of the following numbers has a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion? Again, interesting question. Option A, 13 divided by 3125. Option B, 17 divided by 8. Option C, 64 divided by 455. Option D, 23 divided by 2 to the power 3 into 5 square. Try to do this question and answer in the comment section. Alright. So, they are asking which has a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. So, your answer is here 64 divided by 455. Why? See. Any rational number has a terminating decimal expansion if and only if the prime factorization of its denominator contains only powers of 2 and 5. Only powers, uh, powers of a 2 and 5. And if denominator contains any other prime factor, then decimal expansion will be non-terminating and repeating. You have to remember this. You have to remember this. Any rational number has a terminating decimal expansion. They have asked non-terminating repeating decimal. Okay, so when we have a terminating decimal expansion, if and only if denominator ka jo prime factorization hai, it contains only powers of 2 and 5. Okay, if denominator contains any other prime factor, then decimal expansion will be non terminating and repeating. So, see with the first option that is a 13 divided by 3125. What is happening here? In 3125, it is a 5 to the power 5. Correct. So, this denominator has only prime factor 5. So, it will be terminating. Correct? Next, 17 by 8. 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. Right? It contains 2 ka power only. So, again, it will be terminating. Next one, 455. So, what is the condition for 455? 455 is nothing but 5 into 7 into 13. It contains factors other than 2 and 5. That is 7 and 13 so it will be non-terminating and last may what is it is a 2 to the power 3 into 5 to the power again 2 and 5 factors so it will be terminating so your option is c 64 divided by 455 remember this fact euclid's division lemma bahut easy question hai ye galat nahi hone chahiye chalo come on answer in the comment section so you have to remember this condition what is r here R is a remainder. So, remainder should be equal to or greater than 0. That is the first condition. And it should be less than B. It should be less than B. So, for the Euclid's division lemma, what is the condition? Jo aapka R hai, it should be less than B and it should be greater than R equal to 0. That is the only condition. Option C. Let's see. Yes. Alright. Okay. Next. <coughs> Sum of two irrational numbers is always an irrational number, always a rational number, always an integer can be rational or 
irrational. Take any two irrational numbers and check what is the sum you guys are getting. So it is, it can be rational number or it can be irrational number. Why? I will take it. See. This is your irrational number, root 2 plus root 2. I am taking these two. So this is root 4. So answer of cover 2, which is rational number. Which is rational number. Correct? Now, root 2 plus root 3 which is root 5, again it is a irrational number. So, this sum is either it can be rational number or irrational number. We cannot say. Okay? Next. Last question. If n is a natural number, then 6 to the power n minus 5 to the power n always ends with option A1, option B3, option C5, option D7. Ha! This is interesting question. Try to do this. Answer in the comment section. 6 to the power n minus 5 to the power n. So your answer is 1. Why? See, last digit of this 6 to the power n, it can be 6 to the power n. So 6 to the power 1, 6. 6 to the power 2, 36. 6 to the power 3, 216. And so on. You will always be getting answer as a 6. And last is it of 5 to the power n. Check with this. 5 to the power 1, 5. 5 to the power 2, 5. Because this is a 25. 5 to the power 3, 1 to 5. Again, you are always getting 5. So, 6 minus 5. You will be always getting answer as a 1. So, this always ends with a 1. Alright? Okay. So, this is the end of our quiz. Okay? So, first, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, these MCQs. And uh, this was the first chapter of a real number that we have covered today. In the next series, we will be covering next chapter. Okay. So, stay tuned and subscribe to Kalyanis Maths Academy. Thank you.